going to look at some auto-tuning options that we have in Pro Tools now. In order to do this, we need the plugin Melodyne. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to auto-tune a vocal to start with. The vocal currently sounds sounds like this. Oh, let's hit play. And solo that up. So it's actually a pretty good performance, but nearly all vocal performances could sometimes use a little bit of auto-tune these days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the Melodyne plugin, which is in my plugins list. It's in Other. So it's right down the bottom, Plugin, Other, Melodyne. I'm just going to use a mono track. And before I start, I'm just going to make sure that my algorithm's set correctly. I'm just actually I can use the automatic one, um, the automatic algorithm detects whether it's uh, a polyphonic part or a monophonic part or a percussive part and the first thing we have to do when we use a Melodyne is transfer the information so we have to actually play the entire vocal into Melodyne so it can analyze the frequency and the pitch um, of the performance so to do that we just hit the transfer button and then hit play before the vocal starts I'll fast forward through this um, so you don't have to listen to the entire song but I'll do the complete transfer as you see just down here you can see the waveform of the vocal coming in so i'll just go and fast forward so you don't have to sit through the entire performance okay so that's the transfer complete now once we've done that melodyne analyzes everything and analyzes the frequency of the performance that it's just recorded so now we can look at that and we can see the individual syllables and the pitching of them now if you look at this grid you'll notice it's got two dark lines followed by three dark lines and then two white lines there it's actually a keyboard that you're looking at and it relates to these notes over here so you can actually pitch things around utilizing those notes now again if you look at the performance if this part of the waveform was right in the middle between those two lines, you'd see he was pretty much perfectly on pitch. And occasionally he's a little bit off. So what we can do is we can actually auto-tune those. So in order to auto-tune, we're just going to select the part that we want to auto-tune. I'm just going to do this first phrase here and leave the second phrase unaffected here. And then we open up this dialogue here, and this is our pitch center. Now, as I turn this up, you should see the notes moving around and moving around until we get to 100% when everything is absolutely nailed in the center of the note. So we'll just have a quick listen to see how that sounds now. So that's absolutely bang in tune now. Um, so and there's you know it's it's uh, it's pretty perfect there. Maybe it's too perfect. Maybe we don't want to go a hundred percent on the pitch centering. And sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of humanity into it. So you might not want to go hundred percent. The other thing that we can do now, of course, is we can select a note and we can and we can totally change the pitch of any one of these phrases here. So I can now make uh, the singer sound as though he's incredibly out of tune which is really quite mean and evil but you can imagine the pitch possibilities here because we could actually take a duplication of this part and uh, put in automatic harmonies for example friends inquisitive friends are asking me what's come over me now the good thing of course like all editing in pro tools we have command z to get rid of any of the functions we might have done so that's me putting them back now just by hitting Command and Z. And we go back to the original performance. So if we wanted to do that for the entire vocal part, we can just take select the entire part from beginning to end, making sure we encompass all of the notes. And then all we do is we use the pitch center. Uh, take the pitch center and go absolutely bang on. So the whole part is now fully auto-tuned from beginning to to end. So regardless of where I drop into the song, it'll be bang on a pitch. Now with a good vocal performance like this, it's not going to make a massive amount of difference. And the good thing is that you don't hear the sort of artifacts that Melodyne creates. What I'm going to do now is, having done that on the vocal, just show you, we can actually also do that on any other instrument. So I'm going to do it on the bass guitar this time. So again, exactly the same process. I'm, I'm not going to maybe uh, do the entire track this time because this will be 
an example. So I'm just going to go once again to my plugins on the bass guitar track and plug in the Melodyne processor. And again, I have to use the transfer process to get this in. So I'll just do that again. Just hitting play to make the transfer begin, having clicked on the transfer button. And again, the notes for the bass will actually come in on this bottom A here. We'll just do the first few bars. Again, I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to sit through it all. Okay, so let's let that process. And you can see, again, the bass player here has tuned up very carefully. So most of these notes are absolutely bang in the centre, but there's occasionally ones that are a little bit flat or a little bit sharp. So once again, we can auto-tune the bass part. It doesn't have to be a vocal that we auto-tune. So just select the part we want to auto-tune, click on the pitch centre control, and then zap it. You'll see it does move slightly. So we've just tuned the bass. That's really useful if you've, your bass player hasn't maybe um, tuned up before they've started the recording. Okay. So that's auto-tune on a bass part and on a vocal part, which is great. But there's another wee trick that Melodyne does, which can be quite useful um, and uh, creative. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to use the bass part again. But this time what I'm going to do is next to the bass guitar part, I'm going to create a new, oopsie, I'm going to create a new instrument track. Now I'm kind of, this is like t taking the bass part and I'm going to convert it into MIDI information so I can have a synthesizer going along at the same time as the bass part. So uh, what, I'm just going to go mono this time, although a lot of the time with instrument tracks you would choose stereo, I'm just going to go mono. A mono instrument track and click on create. So I've now got an instrument track adjacent to my bass track. Okay, All I have to do now is click on the bass part and drag it down onto the instrument track. And this has, what we're doing here is we're converting audio to MIDI. And this is part of Melodyne's um, uh, party trick, if you like, within Pro Tools. So just select automatic at the moment, click on OK. And what it will do is it will just analyse the frequency of the entire bass part and turn it into MIDI information. So now you can see here, um, rather than having um, audio information, that waveform has been turned into actual MIDI notes, which is great. And you can see as well, when it's a short note, it's a short MIDI note. When it's a longer note here, it's a longer MIDI note. However, little hiccup that's happened here is just these, these, this is kind of, this is probably buzz or hum or something, and it's picked up those MIDI notes there. We'll just erase those out so it's not going to generate um, MIDI information on those notes at the start. We don't want it to start until bar three. So just double click to open up the MIDI grid there. So my first MIDI note is here. So I've got a MIDI instrument here, but I haven't assigned a MIDI instrument to it. So I'm going to take a plugin and I'll go instrument and I'm going to use, again, I'll use one of the ones straight out of the box. I'm going to use vacuum for this, which is this monophonic synthesizer. And that's what it sounds like. Um, I want a kind of squelchy bass sound. So if I go, let me have a look, bass. A, one of my favourite ones is this dusty bass. Okay, so it's quite a nice funky. Okay, that's kind of the notes that we're looking at here. Um, let's have a listen to that in line with the bass. Okay. Okay, now the synthesizer is obviously triggering a little bit too low, it has to be said. So what I'm going to do is just transpose the synthesizer up an octave. So to do that, just click on the track, the entire track. You'll see that's the whole bass track, the bass MIDI track that's been selected there. Just go to the event menu, select event operations and select transpose. I'm just going to pop it up one octave and click on apply and we'll see what happens. It makes that nice squelchy noise. That's a little bit more usable I think. So oh, maybe it's still too low. So we'll just do it again. We'll just go event, event operations, transpose and put it up another octave. Okay, so have a listen now. There we are, that's a bit of fun. So you can still hear the bass guitar. And we just have to mix the two together and blend them. Hey, 
okay so that's a bit of fun we can do a little bit of creativity so kind of doubling the bass part there with a synthesizer part without having to re-record the synthesizer part it might take a little bit of editing but you know what it's pretty accurate most of the time so that's two really really useful functions of Melodyne in Pro Tools so first off as an auto tuner and then second to take an audio part and convert it into MIDI information really useful